and welcome back to MMC 2022. New Year. Oh, what a busy year we had last year. Well, anyway, I thought I would show you what our garden looks going into this next planting season. So, with that said, let's go and have a look. Okay, here we are is the herbs. As you can see, they're dying back. Small garden bed. So you can see it's got the leaves up, some more herbs. These are my saffron bulbs. And yes, I had to put wire over them because naughty squirrels like to eat saffron bulbs, as I found out. The calendula is still going. That is crazy. That should already be dead by now. Pansies, I never got to put in that basket there. Not enough hours in the day. New growth of the mints. This is chamomile. As you can see, I filled a lot of the beds with some leaves. I am still picking some pansies, isn't that? asparagus pea and I thought this was frost tender and it's still going that is crazy I've been leaving it to go to seed for months and it's still growing so I have no idea what it's going to do but I thought it was frost tender you can see more leaves Everything has died back here. And what I will show you that is shallots. So strawberries are still sort of there. We've got garlic and onions. I think these are onions. As you can see they're growing. I think they're onions. Oh, ground is hard, it's solid. And we've got uh, some more. Another bed. That's all of my bay leaves in. And as you can see, everything is put to bed. So I do need to go through and pull all this up and tidy up, but not enough hours in a day. And here we've got some garlic growing. I just shoved things in wherever I could. Still got a few herbs going there. Okay, that's a rough guide about garden as you can see everything was put to bed ready for the next planting season we do have onion shallots and garlic already in and growing and they are fine in the frost so let's jump into the kitchen where I'm going to discuss what I'm making for dinner tonight and why I'm making it okay see you in a bit right we're now back in the kitchen and I've decided this January I'm going to do a low spend January not a no spend because that's going to be impossible for me because we're going to need fresh fruit and veg and milk at the minimum but I'm going to do a low spend which means I'm going to go to my cupboards my freezer, my fridges and start using up what I have got because I've got a lot. So I'm gonna start working my way through it. And today is the 6th of January, so I've already been doing this for six days. And today's meal is what I've managed to grab at my cupboards, fridge, freezer, etc. Okay, let's hope we can do this low spend January. Fingers crossed. It's just a challenge I'm setting myself to make myself 
go through that cupboard to rotate through all the food. So here we go. Let's have a look what's on today's menu. Okay, uh, in my cupboard I managed to find two packs of tortellini three cheese. So what's the day on them? So they're April this year. I've got two pasta sauces. Don't know the date on these either. Let's have a look. That's 2023, so that's okay. And I've got some bacon that I cooked off, slung in the freezer, and then pulled out this morning to go in with this lot because I thought it would go. I've got a bag of mature cheddar cheese. And that's the 1st of March this year. So let's put all this together. This is just me raiding my cupboard, seeing what I can make for a meal. So I just thought all of these sounded pretty good together. <laughs> so let's have a look on how we're going to construct this meal. I'm going to put a jar of this pasta sauce on the bottom and I'm just going to fill that up with a little water to clean that put the lid on give it a shake get everything out of there nice clean jar okay so mix that water in with that up my pack of tortellini right let's get some bacon so half of it <coughs> And I'm just going to chop it. Let's throw a little handful of cheese over this. Let's get the other jar of sauce. A minute. So nice amount of cheese. rest of the bacon in and then the, some of the bacon on the top Kitchen foil. 
There we are. That is going to go in my fridge until I'm ready to cook that this evening. And when I've cooked it, I'll bring you back to show you what it looks like. This I'll put in the oven for about 15-20 minutes with the foil on. And then the last 5-10 to 10 minutes I will pull this foil off which will allow them to brown the cheese a little bit, make it all bubbly and yummy. Okay, I'll see you in a bit when this is cooked. Okay, time for dinner. So I've got my oven on, about between 170 and 180, mine is fan assisted. And I'll put that in with the foil on. See if I can balance this big one. It's heavy. One hand. In it goes. And we're going to put that in for about 20 minutes with the foil on, and then for the last five to ten minutes, we'll take the foil off. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to pull that off. See if we can turn this sideways. There we are. Ten minutes like that, and we'll be ready to serve. There we are. Dinner is ready. You can still see it's bubbling. So that's it for this vlog. Well, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try. My kids are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it in just a minute. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That way you will not miss a video. So I'll see you next week with a second vlog for 2022. Bye!